In just two months, the first F-35 fighter jets will touch down at the Vermont Air National Guard. Years of training and preparation have gone into the transition from the old F-16s. Local 22's Courtney Kramer got an inside look at the process. She's live in the newsroom tonight with more. Courtney? Well, good evening, Lauren. For months, the Guard has been working to replace equipment for the F-16s with parts for the F-35s. Today, they logged and tested much of the gear in preparation for the arrival of the first jet in September. The Green Mountain boys are taking the final steps to transition from F-16s to F-35s. Support equipment for the fighter jets is now being distributed across the wing. We've already received it, but it's actually we're opening it. So we're actually um, opening the equipment, inspecting it. Over the next two weeks, airmen will uncrate nearly 900 items that support the maintenance of the F-35. Everything that the maintainers will need to get the aircraft off the ground has been arriving uh, in large crates and boxes. Experts from multiple agencies are working closely with the wing team, testing the equipment and teaching the guard how each part functions. Guardsmen say it's important to keep inventory of everything so they're organized for future missions. Verifying stock numbers, uh, serial numbers, parts are where they're supposed to be, the nomenclatures match up. In September, the Vermont Air National Guard will be home to its first two F-35 jets. The base is expecting to eventually have 20 of them, 18 active jets and two backup planes. Maintenance workers and pilots have undergone more than three years of training to prepare for the jets. Altogether, the Guard says 30 pilots will be trained to fly them. I'm really proud of the team, frankly, for, for all the work that's gone into it, and, and we're here, and it's happening. Colonel Smith said the transition to the F-35s is essential to the future of the Guard. Our ability to defend this country and to respond to uh, any type of crisis in the state, the F-35 really secures our future and our ability to do that. Now, when I left this afternoon, the Guardsmen had gone through just over 200 pieces of equipment. They'll inspect over 700 items by the end of next week. Live tonight in the newsroom, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.